Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. I'm um, not really sure if this is an episode or not. There's a bunch of little things that I'm going to be doing to the Supra. Uh, nothing big in this video, just, I don't know, cleaning up some things, tidying it up, making it look a little better, making things neater. And today I'm going to start off by showing you how to make your shit-tastic, awful, terrible wiring look like it's legit and professional. And that's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, I already started doing some work before I filmed. I pulled the whole engine harness out of the car. I'm trying to clean it up because some of you may have seen the pictures of the rat's nest that was in the glove box area. So I put on some of this fancy wire loom um, on this portion of it and it looks pretty damn awesome. And this part is still pretty ugly so I'm going to put more fancy bigger wire loom on here and uh, <laughs> really it turns your awful wiring into something that looks legit and professional. And uh, if you want some of this loom, I'll have a link in the description for it. I absolutely love this stuff. I have half inch loom on this section, but for here, I'm gonna be running inch and a quarter loom. Go wrap. Too late. I had skizzers, but it wouldn't even cut it. That looks terrible. Yes, it does look terrible, Tony. And I'll show you how to make it look amazing. Whatever will you do to fix such a horrible looking mess of wires? Just put loom on it. Fancy loom. Oh, this is gonna be so sexual. Welcome to my house. Tony, look at that. Bam! How to make your shit-tastic wiring look fucking legit! Hey, who did your professional wiring? Poor man mods. That looks really great. Thanks, it looks like wire wiring specialties, doesn't it? I think that you did a great job on this very custom loom. Thank you. How well, much would I have to pay for a product like that? $60. Sixteen, sixteen hundred, sixteen hundred for a harness like this. I think that looks fantastic for that much money. Yes. Good job, Mike. Thank you. Oh, Tony. Oh yeah. Now we're about to shove it in the hole. Earring in the tongue, and she know what to do with it. She didn't have a tongue ring. She had an earring in her tongue. Oh. Yeah. So I got the wiring ran into the glove compartment area and I managed to clean up a lot of the wiring. It's still not pretty, but if you remember what it used to look like in here, I might be able to find a picture of it. Uh, let's see if it works. So that's my uh, ECU that is shot to shit with the gritty E-Man I hooked up. See if it starts. <laughs> it works! All it needs is some lead. It looks so much better. I got rid of a lot of wires that aren't being used. So, it's a lot cleaner, and hopefully I can now utilize the glove box at least to store all this crap in, rather than there being just a big open hole. So, I'm gonna hook everything up, and uh, really hope I can get the glove box to work. Okay. There's that. I guess I can... Oh man, that's a beautiful sight. Holy shit. You have no idea how beautiful that is to me. So the E-Manage will have to sit on the floor. Or maybe I can mount it somewhere. Maybe I could like mount it right here. But having this glove box in, oh, so much better. Now that right there is a fucking poor man mod. Cost me zero dollars to mount that song, bitch. Thank you. 
So I started this project before I started filming. Um, all I needed to do was replace one tag light bulb. Uh, this one. And I was thinking, you know, since I replaced it, I might as well do the other one. And to do it easily, you just take out this screw and then this screw. But if you're like me, this screw is broken, so this piece can't come out. So to get to it to the back side to change the bulb, the whole tail light assembly has to come off. So I took it all apart. Notice that I need a new tail light seals. So I'm waiting for those to come in, but in the meantime, I'm gonna replace the bulbs. Then I'll put new tail light seals on and reinstall it. Boom! Tag light bulbs in. Now I can do the other one, but we still have to wait for the tail light seals to come in. Got the new taillight seals in, everything's bolted up. I uh, didn't film any of that, unfortunately. Um, the camera kind of died. But now, there is another issue that I want to tackle in the back of here. As you can see, there's rust here, which I tried to cover up with some foam and bed liner shit. But uh, the trunk leaks a lot. And for the longest time, I was trying to figure out why, but I finally found out what is causing the leak. This piece of trim right here was actually sticking up a little bit, and there was a ton of debris in the track. There's still some more in there. So I'm cleaning this out as far up as I can. Dirt, leaves, sticks, twigs. So I'm gonna clean this out, or I already did clean it out, but then I'm gonna put a bunch of RETV in there and then try to snap this back down and hopefully it won't leak anymore. Another issue I'm having, my meth tank is leaking. I'm not sure if you can see, there's blue residue all over here. That's from all the washer fluid that's been leaking. And it's coming from this port right here. Um, and Snow Performance recommends to use sealant, so I am going to silicone the shit out of this and hope that it stops leaking. And we'll leave it like that. And hopefully, next time I put washer fluid in it, it won't leak. <laughs> so two things that I did that I didn't necessarily film. Um, I powder coated my intake and I I powder coated this water neck and my intake wrinkled black. I also bought a water neck that had the barbs cut off and welded. I tried to weld mine, didn't work, so I bought one, made them matching textured black. Looks pretty baller. Now let's install this bitch. So this wasn't a full video on anything really. It was a compilation of a bunch of little things. Um, so it wasn't really a how-to really. It's just me doing a bunch of stuff to the Supra. Um, some things that I also did, I did a steering wheel from D&D Performance Interior, which you may have seen that video. I did a cube shifter from Cube Speed Equipment. And I installed a Pro Sport EGT gauge. All of those three will have their own videos. 
but I did all those three around the same time. What the hell are you doing? I want that dog to part one on the camera so bad. That would be terrible. So those three things have their own full installs, but I just did a bunch of little things because um, I did an Instagram post and asked people if they wanted me to do a bunch of little things on video because I had a lot to do this season. Um, there is a checklist here, like 16 different things, and I got a lot done on it. Still a few things left, but uh, I think this video is long enough. So <laughs> let me know if you liked this video. If you liked it, I'll try to do a video like this maybe with my other cars or maybe another one with the Supra. So let me know. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Hey, uh, when are you going to film 2 and 15? Yeah. When are they going to get done? When are you going to film them? Is this going to go on YouTube? I'll bring in the views. Yeah. They could, they'll happen sometime.